Uh, now, it was a busy week last week for Emmerdale's Wendy Posner and Dr Liam Kavanagh. Now, their shock romance took soap fans by surprise when a kiss led to a rather steamy night of passion and the beginning of a love affair. Let me see what you've got. No, 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 no. Look, I'll take that for her. And who's Anna Lamond when she's at home? No one you'd know. Anna Lamond? I've uh, never heard of her. Yeah, well, you got a letter for her yesterday. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, no, she's a. It's just a distant cousin. Distant cousins? My backside. We think that Antoine is just a husband's younger attorney, but we realise exactly what's been going on. What goes to Anna Lamont, the wife, the lover, and the oh, yes. But is it worth upsetting Bob over one meaningless, never to be repeated champagne fueled mistake? No. Anything else you need, Doc? Oh, well, the drama is set to continue tonight. Please welcome Emmerdale, Susan Cookson and Johnny McPherson. Are you all right there? Good. Yes, yes, yes. You're up. Yeah, well, you, you two, what have you got to say for yourselves? <laughs> 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 oh, it's all happening, isn't it? It's just a bit. What did you think? It's not a bad job, though. No. <laughs> what did you think, Susan, when you get the scripts, you know? Well, when thinking... the story was pitched, it was a bit like, really? Really? Me? And him? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, why not? Go for it. Absolutely <laughs> one. Yeah. And is he a good kisser? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 Ease yourself in. It, yeah, but you saw it on the screen, so I just Did, wanted to know. And it, I think with the tash, even better. Oh, than I this. see. With the we, fake tash. We wanted that to um, actually come off. And yeah, be and on to your be lip. stuck on my lip, but we, we didn't have time to do it. it. And do you, do you get awkward? Do you find those things when you read that scene? We, we were that's offered an intimacy up. coordinator, coordinator yeah. weren't we? We were offered an intimacy yeah. coordinator. But the pair of us are just like, no, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. It's going to get more awkward if there's a third person. Exactly. Involved, <laughs> I mean, like, are you okay? Are yeah. you all right? Are you feeling? <laughs> what does an intimacy coordinator coordinate? <laughs> I don't know, because we didn't go for it. Bits, Brenda. Yeah. Sorry, I, th I just, I've never heard of that before. I, I think it's, it's more prevalent in sort of Hollywood and whatnot when people actually have to do proper intimate proper. scenes. But yeah, for just, just, a, just a kiss. Then, yeah. All right. But yeah, if, if you're actually having to be in bed with somebody and all that kind of thing, then. Oh. Let's make yeah. sure everyone's comfortable with exactly. what, they're, yeah. Yeah. what okay. they're doing. But then what about poor old Bob? Oh, poor, poor Bob. old Bob. Oh, poor, poor old Bob. Bob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, honestly, he's just so lovely, isn't he? I mean, wow. you, you, you don't want to hurt Bob. But then, but then what about yes, uh... Bob? He's been naughty and all, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank you know, you. what sauce for the goose and all of that? Do you, must have, you must have some laughs as well, because you have to, in, you know, all these dramas we know, and you've had something I like some incredibly difficult storylines. Yeah. You've got to find the humour on set, haven't you? Oh, do it's you, been a real Do you get relief. the giggles? Do you, one of you set the other off? Or... He's oh, terrible. Yeah. Is he? And he cracks up. He's like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but he just has a twinkle. <laughs> he does. He really does. And I, I, but I'm, if I laugh, that's it. We're done for. Yeah, yeah it's true. Especially if it's like Friday afternoon, all the crew are ready to yeah. go home. Yeah. And then she's gone. It's like, oh, come on, Lucky, <laughs> come on. You can and get I'm saying, but it's you. Stop doing. And he's well, like, I'm not doing. I'm just doing my job. That's it. But he just has this twinkle. He knows. He knows what he's doing. Well, Do you know Sally though. Uh, not Sally. Susan. Um, I'm really surprised at how many soaps you've been in. Yeah, it's been a how few many along the way. Um, I'll so... tell you, look, Emma Dash, Coronation Street, Holly Oaks, Casualty. casualty. Yeah. You've yeah. done the lot, you've got the set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, set. listen, this is a storyline that's just, you know, cooking away nicely. Oh, and Emma Dale have been very kind in giving us a little sneak peek. This is tonight's episode. So if you're a big Emma Dale fan, you don't want a spoiler. It's not a big spoiler, actually. Uh, this airs tonight. This is seven o'clock, and this is what's going on. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm late. I've had a complete nightmare. Bob bought a copy of the magazine. He's never done it before, but he probably did it for my sake. I have turned the bed and breakfast upside down looking for it. I find it in a bin. He spilt something on it. Do you think he saw the photo? Well, he hasn't said anything, so I hope not. As we're alone. I'll give you this. It's our story. I finished it last night. Treacherous Moonlight. You wrote it. Treacherous. Oh. <laughs> Very treacherous indeed. <laughs> but Susan, you've had all, all of these different roles, but you've manifested 
the Emmerdale role, you believe? Well, I mean, you believe what you're going to believe, but I believe it's what just... you told us. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, you could just say it's a massive coincidence. Yeah, but yeah. I'd, I'd kind of got to a crossroads in my life where um, I was, I, I was sort of thinking about work and. Well, is it I true just... that you were going to? You wanted to be a carer. You were training to be a carer. I ha I'd been. A, uh, sadly, my husband passed away several years ago, and I, and I cared for him in the in his last years, and and then once. Um, he passed, I was sort of thinking, what am I going to do work-wise? And I'm getting too old in the two to be waiting around for the phone to ring. So caring does kind of come naturally. Yeah. So then I started thinking about maybe getting, actually getting into nursing. Um, and so I'd put a few feelers out and I was going to speak to somebody about um, doing a te taking a test for getting into basic level of nursing. Right. I was literally on my way and my phone pinged, and it was Jane Hudson, our exec producer, and she just said, um, do you fancy coming and living in Emmerdale Village with us? But oh, and by the way, the character's a nurse. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, and and I had yeah. been, I'd be. been tapping for it, this yeah. tapping, um, and I, I'd, I'd said, I want a job on Emmerdale, I want yeah. to work yeah. on Emmerdale long term. You and then two weeks later, on. yeah, Jane. And as a nurse, that yeah. is nice. fascinating. I'm a big believer in manifestation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, what about, we were talking there about you know, medical things and you're a doctor and that. What about, we were talking earlier, gently, if you heard about um, pet first aid. I don't know if you have pets, would you...? Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, yeah, so... Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I love my dog so much, Molly. She's just, just loving my life and... I've never thought about it and she's only had a couple of problems. I did a sort of, like, doggy Heimlich manoeuvre on her one time when she got... Oh, she was choking on a stick. Oh, there's... That's about oh. as close, as, close oh. as it got, but I mean, I do, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think it's I but I think for people idea. as well, we should all have a course, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. because you know, such a sure. useful tool to have. Absolutely. Well, Cookie, we're just talking about how you used to have a hamster and you used to give it Indian brandy from a sock. <laughs> <laughs> we did. When I was little, we had this hamster, and quite regularly, you'd go down and it's like the hamster's dead, and my dad would go, "Give it here, give it here," and he gets a sock, and he put the hamster. <laughs> Oh, we put the hamster in oh, the sock. In the sock. Oh, well. And then we had like a little bottle of Indian brandy, I think like rescue yeah. remedy. And he'd drop it into the hamster's <laughs> mouth, give it a little yeah, be all warm it up. The next thing the hamster would be like, oh, it <laughs> we just, I don't know how many times. PDSA should like... get on top of that. That's that should hilarious. be part of it. Yeah. Yeah. What about barbecues? Because you know, fantastic weather, it's bank holiday weekend. Are you a fan of a barbecue? Are you a barbecue you person? Are. Yeah, well, I love a barbecue, but I'm, I definitely there's um a certain type of fella, I think, or, or lady, but I'm just thinking the fella sticks the penny on and absolutely, like, dominates the barbecue. Yeah. Like, no, no, I've got this, no, no. Yeah. But that's not me. I'll the ones like, that aren't oh, normally ever in the kitchen, normally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like the outdoor life. I mean, you lived on a canal boat for a while, didn't you? I did, yeah, four long? years. Four years in total, yeah. Four years? Yeah, and what was that like, you know, just being out with nature and fresh air? And no, it was that? wonderful. I mean, uh, I moved it from London to Leeds and it took four months. That was a, a long... <laughs> Long journey, and I used to have to just pull up in the middle of nowhere, uh, and I'd have on the same the Sunday evening, and I'd have uh, to be in the studio for 7:30, so I'd moor up, just bang in some mooring pins. I'd take my bike off the roof, and then just look up nearest train station, and then it'd be in the middle of nowhere, glorious. And I'd get to the train station, and it'd be somewhere near, I don't know, southwest, and I'd be like, I need to get to Leeds, and you go, Leeds? Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. Yeah, it's about three changes, and. Uh... <laughs> I don't think anyone's been to Leeds since 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually you get there. So, I mean, that kind of stuff, it was a real adventure, but um, I don't miss emptying the poo tank twice a week. That's and, uh, The yeah. heating Actually, failing. The, the picture of your dog, is that the dog on the, your... Yeah, yeah, Molly. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh look, yeah. yeah, that's your boat, then. Lovely it dog. Yeah, it was a lovely boat, but yeah. um, I've said goodbye um, to it. Lots of people getting in touch again today. Thank you very much. We'd love to hear from you. Sorry, you know I always have trouble with these things. Um, hang on, where are... Oh, Linda, talking about your tan. Oh, well, that's <laughs> about your tan. Oh, not to tan yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's that? I can't see Linda's tan. No, oh, okay. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's here for Linda. Tell Linda lemon juice gets rid of fake tan on the hands. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Got any lemons, anyone? <laughs> yeah. And please tell Linda nail varnish remover is a good way to remove fake tan. Um, oh. And, yeah, and lots of you with, with um, pet... Uh, one thing, I don't have time to mention those, but we said we'll put the details on our website if you are interested in looking for those pet first aid. We will continue to watch you two very closely. Oh. Emmerdale tonight at 7 o'clock. But thank you, Susan Cook, and Johnny McPherson for now.